joins us live. Uh, how you doing, Good Pete? Good morning. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. Boy, I just, I can imagine you get wonderful shots, but I'm sure there's some of these shots and things that you see behind the scenes that you find the most interesting, like getting shots of staffers and, and people that, you know, we wouldn't normally see. Yeah, I think in this book, I, I tried to show a little peek behind the curtain um, inside the presidential bubble. I mean, both in the West Wing, but also um, what it was like uh, on the road, on Air Force One, on uh, the helicopters, inside the motorcade, just trying to give people a sneak peek of some of the things that I saw along the way. What is, as a photographer, what is, what do you, what's your goal? What are you trying to capture other than just point and shoot? Well, I'm trying to tell a story. I'm trying to tell a story of the presidency, not just the man, uh, Barack Obama, but some of the uh, people and places that make the presidency work. Oh, there's a great I, shot a great of you one and of Bo. You and Bo, I, we're going through these really quickly, but that shot of uh, you with uh, Bo, President Obama's dog, let's talk about that one. Yeah, well, I mean, Bo and I had a special connection because we're both of Portuguese descent. What can I hey. say? <laughs> <laughs> and that was a shot of he hopped up into your chair. Is that it? Uh, yeah, well, he was sitting in my chair where I usually sat in the outer Oval Office. Wow. Um, so I was just giving him a peek. Yeah. That's great. I think he was watching cable TV at the time. <laughs> Let's cue up. The second picture is uh, uh, President Obama's last day as president. And that image shows, uh, it looks like it's from way up on, like you're up on a ladder or something. I was up on a ladder because I wanted to get a picture of President Obama when he left the Oval Office the last time. But before he came over, uh, Two of the workers from the outer Oval Office, Brian Mosteller and Ferial Govashiri, were checking to make sure he wasn't leaving anything behind oh, um, when I snapped this photo. There's also a great one we, in, the, in the beginning, we showed a little bit of it. It's a White House staffer uh, on his knees acting as a barrier for the press. What, what's going on here? Well, this is uh, at what we call an OTR, an off the record movement, where President Obama went and met with the family inside a living room in Seattle. And so this is one of our press advance guys who's just trying to, uh, you know, keep the, keep the press at bay just so they didn't get too close. And uh, an, one more picture with the Easter Bunny visiting the White House in 2015. <laughs> yeah, I like, the, uh, juxta I like the juxtaposition of the, of the Easter Bunny and the Secret Service agent, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> what, 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 if anything, do you learn about politics or, or the presidency itself beyond the, the photographs as you're spending so much time there. Yeah, I mean, I actually wrote more about, um, uh, I wrote more in this book than I did Obama and Intimate Portrait to try to give people a sense of um, not only what I saw in real time, but trying to um, delve into the little history of uh, each of the rooms and uh, each of the positions that I profile, like I profile um, things like the, the Oval Office valet, the groundskeeper, the White House chefs, the military aides. So I'm trying to give people some context historically of what the, how these positions came about. Well, the book is called The West Wing and Beyond. Pete Sousa, we appreciate you joining us this, uh, this morning. You can see him this weekend at the Chicago Humanities Festival. There's the information on your screen. Thanks for being with us, Thank Pete. Thank you. Thanks, Larry and Robin. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, hey, Paul.